The next one is going to be a little bit more fun. I'll give you a sneak peek. I'm just not sure it's going to turn out. Actually, I was really excited about it. And then I showed my mom. I'm also like doing this in their driveway. And she laughed and thought it was ridiculous. And she did not like it. And I even showed her like my inspiration. And she was just like, no. So we'll see how it turns out. It's always like, it's like a temporary thing. So I can always take it down if I don't like it. And I have a backup plan. But I thought this would just be super unique. Um, and I haven't seen it done in any buses or vans or RVs or anything. I'm sure there's out there, but we'll see. <laughs> Do you guys want a little stink peek? Just a little one? Right, when you guys see it, when it's done, if you know me, you're gonna be like, oh, I'm not even surprised. That's all you get. Okay. I've been sweating doing this, but it's done. This is her in all her glory. The little pig has been hanging out with me as I finished. Um, so I didn't record doing it because I was just figuring it out as I went. But if you see, these have these little like marks in the back. And I was just taking really small screws and screwing that into my wall. It was really easy. And then I would just like cut it where it needed to be. I think I'm going to like give it a little bit. And I'm still going to like clean up some of the spots. Um, but I think I like it. And now I'm going to like, I think I'm going to take that down. Just so it's this wall. And the pig likes it, little bitty. Do you like it? So I got them from Amazon. I'll link in the bio where I got them. Um, they're like 60 bucks more than I wanted to spend. But this is what they came in. They're pretty big. I don't remember the exact size. I think these are 20. I'm not sure. But they came in strips. So I used, I think, three or four. Yeah, I probably used four. And it came in a pack of six. There's two left. I think it's just really different. Um, which that's why I wanted to do this. And I think at first I was like, Ooh, I'm a little shocked by it. But then again, everything about a bus is super unconventional. So yay, two, two missions done today, two projects done. At first I wasn't sure if I liked it, but I think I'm, I think I really like it. And let's see what it looks like with a mere selfie. Yeah. I think it's cute. I think it's pretty cute. Okay, so now that the back wall is done, next front wall. Um, I was gonna use like pine shiplap paneling, um, but I have some of that greenery left over and I thought it'd be nice to have them match. So I'm gonna use the pine to cover the doors but the rest of the wall will be the greenery. Um, I just have to get some of the greenery in the mail. So I'm gonna start, I think I'm gonna at least get the rest of the greenery up. I almost have enough. And then I'll use the pine boards. I'll, I'll do that today to cover the doors cause they're gonna be a little tricky. So that's where we're at. So I've also been trying to figure out what to do for above the door. And I was going to do the pine paneling up here too, but this is actually magnetic. And so I've just really liked everywhere I go. I've been getting magnets and like putting it up there. So I think I'm just gonna paint this um, and then pine this just so I can keep this. Um, that's the only thing I can think of. It just might look really random, but we'll see. Michigan cannot get any crazier. It's now snowing. You know, you would think people in Michigan would stop getting surprised by the weather. It's just so up and down. Snow. Hey, bubs. 
Come here. Oh, wow. Look at that snow dog. Hey. Wow. Hey, you look handsome in the snow. Booty Joe. You look. Whoa. What's that white stuff on your nose? What's that? Oh, he got it. Come on, Booty. It's too cold out here, Booty. Ice. Wow, look at you. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. Wipe off the snow all over the floor. Wipe off the snow all over the floor. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, guys. So, I did not do anything in the bus yesterday because it was like terrible weather out. Um, today it's 42 ish. So it's a little bit nicer. So I'm going to show you what I did to the back wall. I'm actually working on the front wall. Um, since last video, I've got quite a bit done, um, which you'll see, but, um, yeah, so today's just kind of a get stuff done kind of a day. Um, and there's another project I haven't shown you that I'm working on that I'm kind of excited about and I'll give you a hint it is similar to that when the clamps don't work painters tape excited um I do have to like kind of push some of this greenery out of the way a little bit um but I think once I get it all like situated the way I want and like flattened it'll be just fine and then I got these knobs um I've made knobs like this before and it was a nightmare and they ended up never like staying like they just kept breaking so I actually bought these from Home Depot they're like a little rock and then it matches this one. And I did paint with the same paint I used for my under bed door. I painted this and I painted this one behind me. So this is one that's still magnetized, which is really cool. I will show you. So let's find the brewery I used to work at. Shout out to Ironbark in Jackson, Michigan magnet. So that's cool. I'm excited about that. So the front is done. It looks so much more like done, like finished, you know, that's, that's the look I was going for in the back. Let's get this out of the way. She's cute. And then I hung up these lace curtains just to have, I don't know, something else. Because behind is my blackout curtains that pull down. And they are like 100% blackout. I got them from Home Depot. They were really expensive. But they are a pain to like pull up and down. Um, Like I can kind of show you. Like they just don't really like see their blackout. But they don't, like, go, you kind of have to, like, play with them to go all the way up. So, but they work. Cute. And another project that I didn't show is I put the second shelf up. So, this will be clothes storage, hanging storage, more, like, another cubbies. I used to use under my bed storage for all my clothes, but I'm changing it up. All material I had just like left over in the garage not the prettiest but it's free and then down here is where my power system goes I just don't have it hooked up right now 
um, because it's just winter and I'm not using this one. But I used the Goal Zero, the Yeti. And I have the 1500 and it's been awesome. It's just super easy, it's plug and play. But thank you guys for watching my second video. Um, like I said, this is the week where I get to just like have fun and do like the fun projects in my bus and the things that just make it feel like more me. Um, yeah, so I have another project that is going on the outside of my bus. Um, so stay tuned, that'll probably be like the next video because I'm gonna be finishing that today. Hopefully I might have to go to Home Depot. Um, there's something else I don't think I really showed you. My hammock. I got my hammock up. This is something I bought to go on the outside of the bus and then I was like, why not put it on the inside? Um, it's actually extremely comfy. And I thought it was gonna be like a little extra to have it in here. Um, but I've gotten in a good habit of reading almost every single morning. And I have like a little nook in my place that I like to read and I thought this would be like perfect. Um, but all the YouTube videos that I found on like how to hang it up either was in a real house or a converted bus or van that already like had the ceiling ripped out and I didn't rip my ceiling out so I was just unsure of how to do it. Um, but this is what I found that works for me. It's just these little hooks I got from Home Depot. And it already fit into like the rib screws. It lined up perfectly so. 